cheese candle. Don't we all want to learn how to make it? Well, that's why you're here, and it. So just follow my directions, and we should be Gucci. First things first, we need to boil these suckers. The best way to boil is a mac. Mac stands for macaroni. You stupid pants! The best way to boil some macaroni is to add water in in here. You see? Here, not here. It won't work. I'll show you. It doesn't work! You have to flip it over! We need to turn it on first. Perfect! Now the trick is to make the water boil as fast as you can is to add a little bit of salt. You see this? No salt, no salt in my hand. But, just wait a second, I will make it appear out of nowhere. You see? Did you see that shit? The secret to make a water boil faster and for the macaroni ah! to cook and taste better is to add a little bit of Salt. A little bit of, you know, when you go into a restaurant, there's like salt, pepper, and sugar. Now, for the most important step, always remember, put the lid on. If it takes too long for the water to start boiling, yelling at it sometimes even helps. Watch and learn. And there you go, there you have it. It's boiling just like that, easy. And when it starts boiling, take off this thing. Oh, it's steam. Oh, look, look how cool it looks. Bless. You see this? This is called steam. That means the water is hot. And when it's hot, it means we can put in. And the trick to making a good mac and cheese candle is to make sure that the macaroni is al dente. It cannot be over al dente or under al dente. No, it needs to be right there on al dente. Because that's the perfect consistency for it to take the shape of a that looks like a dick, but I, 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 I mean a candle. Do not add any oil in here. That will ruin it. No, we need the macaroni to be sticky. And plus, when we add in the cheese, it will make it even more sticky. A good, a good fucking candle! Do not let it get stuck on the bottom. No, that's just a waste. And we don't waste any food products over here on this channel. No, because wasting equals bad, you know? Kids in Africa could have eaten those macaronis. Put the lid back on, why is there macaroni everywhere? Oh shit, Sherlock. When the water starts over boiling, you're like, oh, what the fuck do I know? Oh, it's gonna over boil at any second. Okay, now, the best way to make sure that your macaroni is cooked nicely and evenly and is fucking all dente is to take it out and put it on your hand. <gasps> that needs a couple more minutes. Now that it's done cooking, we can add our special ingredients for making a mac and cheese. For that, we need some good chef and a little bit of milk. Just a little bit. Let the cheese fall from the heavens and coat our beautiful macaroni. The more cheese you add in, the more stickier and the more lovely it will be. Now for some milk. Now listen to this. Perfect. And now for the most difficult part. We need to start rolling it into the shape of a candle. You've never seen a candle before? Here, there you go. And there it is. That's a candle. It would probably be a good idea to wait for the mac and cheese to cool down a little bit. But you know, I don't give a fuck. Now that looks pretty blessed to me. Now we need to start rolling it up. Yes, roll it up. I'm sure a lot of you Colorado people are used to this motion that we're gonna do right here. So it should come naturally to you. First of all, we need to roll it like this. We need to pat it in. Make a nice little cylinder. Turn in the edges. And when you've got something that looks like this, no, it's not a piece of shit, it's our candle. Put that bitch in the freezer right now. Let's go. Now I know it might look uh, like a burrito right now, but trust me, it's gonna be so much better because we're gonna make a candle out of it. And who doesn't like a candle? You're on your computer, watching porn, watching Netflix, or I don't know, doing whatever you want, and the 
power goes up. When it's a rainy and snowy day out and you don't want to go to the store. And you're like, fuck me man, I forgot to buy some candles. This is the video for you. All you need is some tin foil and some mac and cheese. And to watch this video all the way to the end. Okay, peace, let's go. And it is time, only 48 hours later. I won't lie, I kind of forgot that I put them in the fridge. But it doesn't matter, we're back at it again. This is the beautiful creature that we put in the deep fridge. Now it's time to unwrap them and see if our glorious creation actually fucking worked. I think we should have sprayed it before we put it in the tin foil, but yeah, whatever. Okay, we're gonna let this one melt up. Listen to this. But now, now these ones, I was smart enough not to put in the freezer. So hopefully this will actually work. As you can see, I made a square. And a ball. It kind of looks like a bath bomb or the 10,000 rubber band ball. What I did just in the other episode. Go and watch it. Link in the fucking description down below. Right there. Right there. I'll show you. Here it is. Go watch it. Okay, let's unwrap the square first. You see this? This is a beautiful little ball of mac and cheese. Right now it looks like a ball, but just wait a second. I'll show you some magic right in this bitch. Just wait. Right now they just look like a weirdly shaped mac and cheese stuff. But how do we make them in a candle? As you can see, I didn't put any of the candle strings in here. Because you can't have a mac and cheese candle with something that's not edible. So for that, spaghetti! Just take out a beautiful little spaghetti string. You only need one for one candle. Don't even worry about it. Actually, scratch it. You don't even need one. You only need half. So, what you wanna do is grab your little spaghetti. You see this over here? Cut it in half. Very gently. You can't be rough with this. Otherwise, the magic won't work. Now, very gently. We're gonna put it in. Here is the hole. Here is the stick. The stick goes in the hole, like so, and just like that, it's done. Now I know what you're all thinking, but the square one doesn't look that good. It doesn't look good at all. There's an easy fix to that. Just cut off the excess edges, because they make it look disgusting. And we can't have that now, can we? And now, would you fucking look at that? Now we have a mac and cheese square candle! Almost looks like a brownie, but it isn't! Because it's macaroni and cheese! The same deal all over again! Just put it in, you can't rush it. The foreplay must always be on point. And I know, yeah, it kinda looks a little bit too much, but there's an easy fix to that, just... Knock knock! Who's there? Magic! Now just imagine, you're home! Everything is nice and sweat. La, 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 la. But all of a sudden, boosh, the power goes out. Oh my god, what do I do? What the fuck do I do? I've never been in a situation like this before. Do we have any candles? No, we don't. But I remember Fox Poppins oh, showed us how to make mac and cheese candles. That's right. Grab your candle, grab your lighter, and light it up. We're saved! Motherfucker doesn't want to burn, huh? Well, let me just see about that. Please light. God damn it! Holy shit, it worked! That's what I'm telling you, that's what I'm telling you. Mac and cheese candles! Woo! Now, let's give them a little taste. After... After the power has come back, of course you want to eat something, but you can't be asked to cook it, so might as well eat our candles, you know? Hmm. Uh, 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 I forgot that I sprayed them with the deodorant. My bad, now my whole mouth is fresh and tastes like deodorant. 
I hope it's safe. I hope I won't. Oh, I, I hope I won't die. But as you can clearly see, it worked. Give a big round of applause. Everybody, hey, why aren't you clapping? The only thing I have to say is it works. But yeah, that's all for now. See you later, bitches. I took a boy, bitch, and stormed the bus. That little bitch got a throat. Fuck. I like the rock, but I'm.